in this lesson we will be learning generate so generate blocks generate statements are particularly convenient when same operation or module instance is repeated for multiple times a generate block starts with keyword generate so this is a keyword okay that you have to remember this is a keyword and ends with the keyword and generate The, these are system defined keywords and not user defined it is already it has been uh, declared and defined inside this uh, verilog libraries inside generate block we can have modules means suppose this is generate block this is generate this is and generate this is called generate block okay it starts with generate keyword and end with uh, end with and generate so inside this generate block you can have modules then you can have user defined primitive then you can have continuous assignment and you can have initial you can have always so these are the construct that we can have inside this generate block means generate and end generate modules user defined primitive continuous assignment initial and always we can even create a variable inside generate variable but not in other types of loop means there are different types of loop are there that we have studied so far that is uh, for loop while loop then repeat all these are loops but in those loops we cannot generate a variable inside that loop we cannot generate a variable but it is possible to generate a variable own variable inside this generate blocks okay this generate blocks we can create a variable so this is this is about generate blocks and i will give an example okay then generate loop here you remember this this it starts with generate and ends with end generate then it is a, it, it is called a generate block and what is a generate loop for generate loops we must use genvar as loop variables okay this is a loop variables this is also predefined system defined variables and it is there inside it is defined and declared inside your verilog library the value you choose to count through each loop for example uh, for i equal to 0 i less than 5 i equal to i plus 1 if we write like this then these are the variables and these variables are user defined these variables are user defined but this gen this gen variable this is the loop variables for the generate loop and this is system defined this is not user defined okay so this is generate loop this is generate blocks So this is the example uh, AND gate, AND bit AND gate using this generate block. So module AND generate AB out the parameter n equal to five, then input output genware. See, this is generate generate variable. So here genware as loop variables. So for example in for loop normally why what we use integer integer i, then this i equal to zero, i less than five, i equal to i plus one. But here we can use this. a system defined variable genvar this is not user defined okay this is a system defined this genvar is a system defined so genvar i now okay this is a variable for generating loop then generate and generate so what is this this is a generate block right this is a generate block so this is a loop inside the generate we can have for loop also inside generate we can have for loop we can have initial we can have always we can have module okay so inside generate for i equal to 0 i less than n minus 1 i equal to i plus 1 and this i is now this gen type variable okay then assign out this is a continuous assignment you remember th this one then inside this uh, gen uh, generate block we can have continuous assignment initial always so it is a continuous assignment assignment out i equal to a plus ai and bi this is a continuous assignment this is a and generate so what it will generate it will generate out equal to a and b for different different iteration okay n n minus 1 means 5 minus 1 4 so 0 1 2 3 so it is a 4 bit and gate this is a 4 bit 4 bit and gate this is a 4 bit and gate using this generate loop and genvar variable
then here is another example is a generate conditional so here we are designing a mod we are designing a counter one is up counter and another is down counter so here parameter mod equal to 0 model model name clock reset count parameter mod equal to 0 input clock reset output 3 is to 0 count then generate this is generate block because generate and end generate it starts generate block starts with generate and end with end generate so this is a generate block if mod equal to equal to 1 this is a condition inside generate we can have if 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 statement if condition we can have for loop also okay so if mod equal to equal to 1 then there is a op counter op count you see this is a model instantiation see inside the generate do you remember this this one you remember this uh, inside this inside this generate block we can have even if modules we can have modules and we can have udp means user defined primitive so here we have instance instantiate our design our module so inside generate you even you can instantiate your module so this is op count you see clock reset count then if mod equal to 1 mod equal to equal to 1 if this condition satisfies then there will be a op count means up count will be if this line will be this line will be executed means there will be up count if mod equal to equal to zero else there will be down count so this is a model instantiation then and generate then and and module so it is a very helpful construct this generate is because inside the generate we can have a different type of uh, condition statement we can include we can include our module then loop for loop initial always it is a very very helpful construct in very log okay then this up count and down count because this is this is a module instance isn't right up count and down count so this up count and down count you can here this separate code for that one okay module up up down counter then parameter n equal to zero so this is generate then this is a generate case okay the first one is generate conditional if mod equal to equal to one then up count you see this one this is a generate conditional this condition is there if the condition satisfies this up count else down count this one is generate case so inside you generate we can have case statement also see how how this is a helpful one this generate is so inside generate here we have case statements so if this case this matches n equal to 1 then is the up count if it is 2 then it is down count this is a model so, so now you now you see inside the case statement even you can instantiate your module this is a new thing to learn right so in, inside the case statement you can instantiate your module okay then default is count stop cs so it is another it is another module so default in the default also you can include your module instantiation then your this expression also you can include your module instantiation then end case and generates so end of the block this is end of the module so this generate is very very helpful and in different different way we can use this generate because it includes almost all all the constructs that we have in Verilog like all the loops then modules user defined primitives then it has its own uh, uh, system defined variable okay so this is a very helpful construct then you just explore it so that you can learn about this uh, generate generate block generate loop and this conditional and case statement uh, in details and this is all about uh, this uh, generate and i hope that guys you under, you guys understood this this one this generate and if you like the content then please do like and you can watch my other uh, lessons also and uh, please do subscribe thank you so much for watching